Hi, this is Teal from PuckerBlocks.com. Welcome to another product review. Today I'm going to show you the Dell U2717D Ultra Sharp Monitor. Dell has lent this to me for two weeks for review purposes and as usual, I'm going to review this from the perspective of an artist, a graphic designer and look at it whether or not this is suitable for graphics work. So let's take a look at some of the highlights. The main features for this monitor would be the resolution which is 2560 by 1440 it runs at 60 Hz. Uh, color reproduction is very good usually their monitors come out uh, from the factory color calibrated although for this unit I need to do some color calibration through my Mac using system preferences. The color gamut is sRGB 99% and this is a bit smaller compared to the other monitor that I reviewed last month which is the UP2716D which is actually a much better monitor when it comes to color reproduction however if you don't have two monitors to compare side by side there's not going to be any difference but actually when I took out this monitor when I power, power it on I noticed a bit of difference um, I can feel that this monitor is good but it's the other monitor, the 2716D, is just much, just a bit better. Yeah. So the other highlight would be the tin bezel, which is about 7 mm, and this bezel goes all around. So it's 7 mm all around, and it's just about as thick as my Mac OS taskbar here. So you can see that this is very thin, and it is very nice. It's almost like using one of those very thin bezel laptops and again compared to the 2716D 2716D has a thicker bezel at the top and you can see here that for this 2717D the bezel is just uniform all around as for the connectivity let's take a look at the ports these are three USB ports two in and one out a 3.5mm audio jack a display port out mini display port in, display port in, and a HDMI port. Other than the ports that are behind, there are two USB 3 ports here as well. I keep one plugged in with the card reader all the time because Dell has removed the card reader from their newer monitors. The other, is, the other port is usually connected to my scanner. And I connect my keyboard to the back because I'm still using a white keyboard. So let's take a look at some color scans that I scan in with my scanner. So this is a watercolor chart basically. So usually when I'm working on a screen, I would make sure that whatever I scan in is accurately reproduced on the screen itself. I'm not working for print production with this computer at home, but if I'm going to be using this monitor, in the office, uh, I would say it is still good enough. It is good enough, more than good enough actually. So in this case, the color reproduction is quite similar. Comparing the red, the blue, the greens, I find that the monitor is a bit brighter though, just slightly brighter and maybe the color is a bit cooler compared to my watercolor paper which is a bit warmer so perhaps I still need to do some additional color calibration but other than that this is very good also with a 27 inch monitor like this um, when you're using it for graphic design like page layout it is very good because you can fit a very huge canvas on it so as usual my standard example a very old file that I work on this file is actually going to be reproduced something bigger than this and this is an A3 size watercolor pad. So you can see that if you are working on maybe a book design, a magazine design that is about A3 in size, you will be able to fit the whole page into the screen itself and you will be able to view your page layout at 100% and that is very good if you want to see how big the fonts exactly how big the fonts will be exactly so this is very good I love working on huge screen monitors when it comes to doing page layout they are much easier on the eyes so and also one thing is um, you can tilt the monitor vertically 
right now I have a bit difficulty because of all the wires behind but just know that you will be able to tilt the monitor in a vertical manner I know some designers they have to work with the monitor in the vertical the portrait format because their pages are vertical so with this monitor you can do so as well and if you want to have a monitor arm behind the VESA mount behind is 10cm by 10cm so take note of that oh I forgot the menus the menus well they are down here they need to be pressed unlike the touch sensitive ones on their other monitor and it's pretty straightforward the thing with menus is after you set it that you don't really need to go use it again so um, they are just down there and then there's this little small light button which I like that they hit it at the corner with just a little blimp there for gaming purposes note that this monitor runs at 60 Hertz so for running games that are from consoles like PlayStation or Xbox this monitor is more than powerful enough and fast enough to get you the frame rates that you want but if you are playing on PC games I'm not sure how that will fare so um, that's something to take note of if you want to do some gaming on this screen let me show you the backlight bleeding if there are any and there are on the top left top right and the bottom right so I'm moving my cursor down you can also see that little power button light at the bottom right and right now I'm actually using my Dell U2711 monitor which is already five years old it uses a CCFL backlighting you can see the power button light at the bottom and also the cursor in the center but other than that there is almost no backlight bleeding at all which is quite impressive let's recap the pros and cons of this monitor I really like the thin bezel that goes all around I like that it doesn't use a lot of electricity so it doesn't get hot I love the screen size 27 inch is a very comfortable size for me when I'm doing work it's very slim also and doesn't take up a lot of space on the table in terms of color reproduction color, color accuracy it's very good but it's not as good compared to the UP2716D however unless you have two monitors side by side to compare you are probably not going to notice the difference and having said that I can still recommend this to digital artists people who need to edit videos or photos um, this monitor is good good enough more than good enough however if you are really into professional photography videography you work a lot with print houses then I would recommend you spend the extra money and upgrade to the UP2716D which is the better monitor downside of this monitor would be the backlight bleeding um, it's not too big of an issue if you're working in an office environment where there are lights above and you're working on a page layout you're not going to notice that just that when you're watching a movie at night there are no lights in your room black bars at the top and bottom of your movie that's about the only time when you're going to notice the backlight bleeding uh, whether or not this is a deal breaker will really depend on you but personally for me I don't think um, this is too big of an issue if you are getting this monitor for work purposes so if you are getting if you really want an all-rounded monitor get the 2716D the UP 2716D that's all for my review today if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below I will also post a link to my text review in case I need to uh, put any updates I'll put that in my text review Thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so for more art product reviews in the future. Bye!